They've got a letter from Hassan, which they've kept. They've saved it to <gasps> give to his children. And this is sort oh of the God. original letter. <laughs> And he would like to give it to you as a present so that you know that they've kept it for so many years. Now I'm heading back to Smolyan because I just heard back from Vanya. She was able to find my dad's half-brother still living in Smolyan and he's 96. I'm overwhelmed to be meeting my uncle for hot for the first time. He grew up with my dad. They were boys together and he's the final link to my father's story. I'm really hoping that he'll be able to fill in some of the blanks about what happened to dad after he left, escaped from the, the labor camp and made his way into the USA. Um, just stay for that. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. He's really happy that you're here to meet him and that he lived this long. <laughs> he lived to 96, so he could wait. <laughs> I'm very, very glad. No, no, said Adza. Can you tell me? what my dad was like when he was a little boy, when you lived in um, Iseron, Oreon? No, he was very short, he was very quiet boy. Yeah. And they always respected yeah. each other as brothers. Okay. Until the last, they respected each other. I believe that. Ferhat, do you remember visiting Hassan when he was in Bogdanov Dal. Did you ever visit him? From state security, they sent your father uh, to the camp. And then one or two days later, they picked up Ferhat and put him in the camp as well. The wait, 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 he, the was, he was in, in the labor camp with my she, dad? She, 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 yes, both of them. You came of Constantinople to Tamsa and in the camp, they met. They started kissing each other. Rita, Tamsa Vidimi Barat, and they didn't know that they were both in the same camp until that point. Oh my God. When my father escaped, what happened to you? They called him up um, in the middle of the night and sort of interrogated him on why his brother had escaped. They started swearing at him and then sort of beating him with these big sticks. And he couldn't go with your dad because he had a wife and two sons that he couldn't leave behind. Wow. They've got a letter from Hassan, which they've kept. They've saved it to <gasps> give to his children. And this is sort oh of the God. original letter. And he would like to give it to you as a present so that you know that they've kept it for so many years. Rita Wilson is back in Smolyan, Bulgaria, where her uncle Ferhat has just given her a letter written by her father shortly after he managed to make it to the United States. It's 1950. Look at my dad's beautiful handwriting. 
This oh, is the translation soon. Hello, my dear dad and brother. I believe you will be quite uh. surprised to find out that I am writing to you. I came to America on May 4th, 1949. <laughs> Never in my life so far have I seen such high paid work as here in America. At nighttime, I go to school and I'm learning English quickly. Once I finish this class, I will start a new one to learn about radio and television equipment. All schools are free here. You can even become a doctor if you have the brains. Girls, all you want. <laughs> we are living the life. On the ship where I worked on my way to America, I was a stoker, and we almost sank on the way here. My only thought was, once I get there, I will take off, and that's what happened. Please send my distant regards to the old Armenian lady. Tell her that I remember how she used to tell us that she had been to America, and that America is under the earth. I just found out that America is on top of the earth. <sighs> That's about the best letter you could ever get. <laughs> on this journey, I've felt that I know my father more now. And, and part of that is being able to be here and meet his brother. <laughs> Every day of my life, my dad said, God bless America. And in this letter, it said, I made it and I have opportunities, and that's really what the American dream is, I guess.